All right, students in this lesson at what is known as the Alpine countries and the nation of Germany. So this would include Germany, Switzerland, Austria, and the nation of Liechtenstein. On your screen here, you can see that we have Germany, uh, we have Switzerland, and we have Austria, but you can probably not see Liechtenstein. That's because it is such a small nation that we would have to zoom up on the map. Okay, just looking at some basic information with Germany, it's located in the heart of Europe, as we just saw. Uh, its population is about 82 million people, and like uh, looking at their life expectancy there, it, are, uh, it is about 80 years of age. Uh, so in comparison to the United States, it's pretty similar that the United States comes in at about 79 years of age. Okay, some physical features. Uh, to the north of Germany, uh, we have the Alps. Uh, I'm sorry, correction, in the southern region. Uh, the region known as Bavaria, or the state known as Bavaria. Uh, we have the Alps uh, running into Switzerland, not the north. Uh, we also have uh, the Danube River, uh, and that winds east across southern Germany. So as you can see, it flows east uh, into, uh, or out of the eastern side of southern Germany. And we also have the Rhine River, which helps to form part of the border with France. And then to the north, we have a large plain area where we have many cities. So if we look, uh, you can quickly see that there are more cities in the north than there are in the south. Okay, looking at Germany's economy, uh, it is a probably the strongest uh, economic power in the European Uni Union. Uh, if I was to look at this picture, that I'm pointing at right now, it may remind you of the city of Pittsburgh as we have, uh, it may rem remind you of the Point region in the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, and this is a picture of what is known as the Ruhr, uh, which is in the western part of uh, Germany. It's one of Germany's most powerful uh, industrial centers and really the world's most, one of the world's most important industrial centers uh, because of what is located here being coal and iron ore. Uh, because of coal and iron ore being here, uh, they are able to produce a lot of quality steel. In addition, um, because their economy is so strong, a lot of immigrant workers sometimes come to Germany looking for work. So uh, a lot of Turkish workers may be coming or uh, workers from Eastern Europe. Uh, but sometimes when times get tough, there are some negative feelings towards uh, these immigrant workers. And I want you to consider why that may be. In uh, north of the Alps, uh, again, which is in the southern portion of Germany, uh, there is a region known as the Black Forest region. And this is being damaged by acid rain from a lot of pollution uh, coming from not just Germany, but some other regions in Europe. And as you can see, you can see some pine trees here that were decimated by acid rain. Okay, Germany's government is known as a federal republic, which is similar to the United States in that the national and state governments share power. Uh, in 1989, uh, as the Cold War was coming to an end, uh, Germany was being reunified. Uh, as you can see, there was a West Germany and an East Germany uh, pictured on your screen. The West Germans were uh, under the helm of a democratic government while the East followed the Soviet Union. But you can probably also see this little blue dot in East Germany, which was the capital city of Berlin. Uh, and even the city of Berlin was divided. You've probably heard of the Berlin Wall. Uh, so there are some challenges now at uh, East and West Germany are, were reunited into one Germany. Okay, looking at Germans, uh, there's a strong state loyalty. The language is German. Religion uh, is a mix of Protestantism and Roman Catholicism. Uh, and cities are really linked by the Autobahn, rails, and waterways. Okay, moving into the Alpine countries. They're known as the Alpine countries because the Alps covered most of the landscape of the countries of Switzerland, Austria, and Liechtenstein. Okay, looking at Switzerland, first of all, it is a neutral nation as throughout its history it's refused to take size, uh, sides in international, international disputes. Uh, and not surprisingly, Geneva, uh, which is a city in Switzerland is home to many uh, international peacekeeping or, or international uh, organizations such as the Red Cross. 
Uh, the Alps in Switzerland are the continental divide of Europe, meaning it splits them down where uh, water can flow to side to side. Uh, and the Rhine and the Rhone both stop, start here. Uh, in Switzerland, Switzerland tourism is very important. Uh, most people do speak German as a main language, uh, but they're also multilingual. Lingual. Uh, and we can also see Liechtenstein because we're zoomed in. Okay, Austria is a landlocked country uh, south of Germany, uh, and the Alps cover about three quarters of it. Its economy is based on uh, a few things. Rev rivers here generate a lot of hydroelectric power. Uh, also, they have chemicals, metals, and vehicle or auto industries, uh, and farmers raise dairy cattle here. Uh, it's interesting. Most of Austria's 8.2 million people live in cities and towns. The majority of them do speak, uh, and about 80% are Roman Catholic.